I love systems of equations. What we've got to understand is we have two linear equations given to us, as you see in front of you. And what we want to do is we want to draw these two lines. Now, these two lines are going to intersect only at one point, almost like the letter X or the letter T or uh, the letter V. Um, those letters, what they have in common is one place on them where those two straight lines will touch each other. And that particular point at which two lines touch each other, that is the solution to a system of equations. So we've already learned how to graph an equation. Um, and so what I need to do is I'm going to take the first equation, y equals 3 fourths x minus 2, and I need to know that negative 2 or this minus 2 is my y-intercept. So I'm going to start on the y-axis at negative 2. And now this fraction that's here, this is telling me how to build my stairs or how to build my line. And the numerator tells me to go up three units. I want my height of my stair to be three units going up. And then the denominator of this fraction tells me how wide to make the stair. So if I go three units up, one, two, three, I'm going to go one, two, three, four to the right. And this is a positive fraction, positive three-fourths. And this slope has a positive slope. It's going up. So that looks good. I'm going to switch over to the other equation, y equals 3 halves x plus 1. I'm going to start at my y-intercept, which is positive 1. So I'm going to go to positive 1 on the y-axis. And now I'm going to follow my directions in order to build this slope. This is telling me to go up 3 units for a height and a go to the right 2 units for a width. So from that starting spot, I'm going to go up 1, 2, three units, and to the right, one, two units. And you can see the triangle that I've created by going up three and to the right two, and on the previous one, by going up three and to the right four. Now that's great, we've plotted two lines correctly, but what we really want is this right here. We wanna know what is the ordered pair at which they intersect each other, in which these lines have the same point. And in order to do that, we've gotta start back at the origin, and I always tell my kids, if you're going to get to a spot on this graph and you had to do it in real life, you would move your ladder either left or right first and then climb up or down. So we've got to move our ladder so that we're just above that point at negative 4. And so for my answer, I'm going to say negative 4 is my x value. And so once I'm on top of that point, I'm now going to climb down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. Since I went down five units, that's going to be negative five. All right, one more for you. Let's go ahead and let's plot this on the graph and see what we can do. I'm going to start at negative four on the y-axis. So it's always starting on the y-axis, never on the x-axis. It's always on the y-axis, so I'm going to start at negative four. And now I've got a negative four-fifths. I'm going to have a negative slope. My line's going to look something like this. It's going to be slanting downward. Negative four tells me to go down four units. And then the five, which is positive, is the denominator, tells me to go to the right five units. One, two, three, four, five. And so I have that negative slope that they want. Now, the other one, I've got to start at positive five, but what's my slope going to be? There's no number there. We have to recognize that that's 1. And in order to make a fraction, I would put that number 1 over 1. So I'm going to start at positive 5 on the y-axis because of the 5 that's right here. It tells me to do that. And now this is telling me to go up 1 unit and to the right 1 unit. And that is correct because well, this has a positive slope. Well, where did they intersect? Well, they intersect right here. So what is that as far as moving our ladder, figuring out what that ordered pair is. Well, I'm going to slide my ladder to the left one, two, three, four, five spots. And when I do that, that represents my x value, negative 5. Now, I'm not going to climb up at all, and I'm not going to climb down at all. I'm staying right here, so that means my y value would stay at 0. And so I have two problems correct, and you've graphed now two systems of equations. Hopefully this helps you out. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me.